Welcome back everyone. It's a tier 5 match on Swamp and GTF and his OI experimental and myself and my team of ours have found ourselves in the match where the matchmaking, at least from our point of view, can only be described as godlike. We are the two tier 5 heavy tanks. The other team has no tier 5 combat tanks, just a pair of artillery. Oh, we also got a pair of tier 5 artillery too, so yeah. Now that little bump you just saw GTF give me, he's, that's going to haunt him later. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll cross out again. Just, just remember that little bump happened. It's, uh, it cost me 20 hit points. And he, it's going to upset him later. <laughs> and I can't really say I blame him. I, I actually feel a little bad about it. Because it wasn't like it was intentional or anything. But <clears throat> more on that later. Right now, we've just decided that because we're tier 5 heavy tanks, we can do whatever the heck we want. So we're going to drive up here to the, it's usually the medium tank line. And just I'll let the enemy heavy tanks go and, and, and fight their counterparts. Uh, they're, they're tier 5 counterparts on the flank while we, um, so tier 5, they're tier 4 counters on the flank while we come up here, kill everything that dares come up here, and then, uh, go kill the rest of their team, because that's what's going to happen. And probably every shot we like though here, don't see one. But GTF's tank is a little bit taller. So he needs to hit the top of the like though and take it out to be our first victim. And the plan for here is pretty simple. We're just going to drive into the enemy team, laughing our asses off, and shooting the gun whenever it's loaded at something. When I'm close enough to think I'll hit it. It's, it's, you know, it's like the good old days when KV1S was tier 6 and the 122mm DT25 gun on it. You could just smoke everything it looked at. Well, that's pretty much what we've got here, only we're tier 5, and the enemy team is made up entirely out of little tiny tanks compared to the gigantic might of 1S and uh, OI Experimental. We've considered charging down from here, but decided it's better to have a crossfire going. Besides, the closer I can get to my targets before I have to rush into the open, the better. Well, here we go. We're about to start our charge at this point. We're just going to shut up and let the carnage happen. Oh, that was hilarious. And now we have to go the second way. Oh, look, something else to shoot at. GT and I are still nearly at full health. You might actually be fully at full health, because I haven't bothered to look back and find out. I'm just charging forward, because that's the kind of magic's going to be here. I really, really want to get the leaf, but, you know. Just take the on their team on the maybe the Matilda. Sounds like a delicious B1. Already. And GT 
give them a total for me. Oh, with two enemies left now. The type 95 is well doomed. No, they're all doomed. GT and I are still alive. We're down to a pair of tier four heavy tanks whose guns are distinctly not up to the task of hurting us. These armors are capable of stopping any of our guns. That's just the W2. It does do a good job killing the sow though before. This I think that the cruiser was shooting with offers with high explosive rounds. So, okay. Or so I think. Hello, friend. Oh, first gun swipes the drone. Let's go take a look at the stats of that completely stupid match. So here's the, the post-game stats for the match you just watched. Uh, and you can see, hey, cool-headed, high-caliber, brothers in arms, because we each got three kills and survived the match, yay. Uh, Second-class mastery, though, I mean, whatever, that was very much a, a sort of a, a gimme match. I mean, I think the only the only tier five thing I shot at was the leaf. <laughs> Everything else was tier four, and even one hapless Panzer 1C that got in my way. All just got crushed under the uh, the sheer weight of KV-1S and OI. Take the next one. We'll see something a bit surprising, though. I'm top on experience, but even though I got the high caliber, I'm not top on damage. GTF got top damage by a whopping 39 points of damage. Yeah, he does not get the high caliber. Why? It's because of those 20 points of damage he did to me at the very start of the match. He accidentally rammed my tank, and that cost him the high caliber. How silly is that? <laughs> It's not like he was trying to, like, you know, TK or anything, but, yeah, the game doesn't doesn't pull any punches on that. So, as a result, I get the high caliber. Yay me, I guess. Uh, and GTF is left just to just to enjoy his, his BIA. Uh, not really much to say of this match, really. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, Leaf had a nice match. B1 had a pretty good match. Even the DW2 I killed in the end, he had a pretty okay match for DW2, but... Um, what were they going to do? <laughs> We had a pair of tier 5 heavy tanks and they had nothing! Uh, matchmaker at its very finest. Uh, personal stats, you know, are kind of sort of funny. Six shots fired, five of them are hits, one's a splash damage. You know, got me some a thousand damage, six damages, two kill, four, sorry, two kills, four kills, geez. Uh, traveled two and three quarters kilometers, uh, made myself some very nice credits off of that one, and, um, even got some XP, not that I really needed on this tank, though, you know, you can see the crew is still working their way up to, to full power on this particular tank. So I guess that was kind of nice for, for the crew training. Well, I hope you all enjoyed watching that match. Good game and good night.